Hey everyone, this is Giovanna Forrest. On this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a pink galaxy. They are super, super fun to paint. They look very hard, but they're super simple, and I think you're gonna have a lot of fun, so please keep watching to see it. If you recreate this painting, just email it to me or something, or tag me on Instagram. I'll leave my information down below. And I would really love to see it, so I really hope you enjoy it, and I hope to see you again. One. Two, three, four. Okay. Okay. Who counts to four? And you're on with Giovanna Forrest. Okay, stop. And the artist. Okay, start over. Century. Start over. And you can't be in the same room as me. Okay, so first thing you. When I'm painting a galaxy, I just think of what. Obviously, what colors I want in it. This one has purple and pink tones. Sometimes I do purple mixed with blues but this time I'm going to do the pink and purple so what I do is I look at my palette and I just I'm just going to go with these tones right here other than the orange because I don't want it to have anything other than pink purple tones I don't know what the heck you call it so first and the thing about these galaxy paintings is that they look super hard, but really they are so simple to do because it all bleeds in together. So at first I, I do some like really light strokes, which is just with a lot of water. And then other ones I make it a little darker. Um, I just get really messy. My palettes are always so disgusting because I mix everything just so I can get I don't know different shades I don't have time to like mix it on a different like one of these I guess so just keep on grabbing colors I start doing like like you're noticing, I'm making it into a bigger, bigger circle until it covers up the whole thing. And then later I'll do some different, um, I don't know, direction, I guess. Like with this one, I started out doing the circle of motion and then I went into and did some going this way. I suck at talking, so I'm just going to paint. One of my favorite galaxy paintings are the ones with purple, blue, and pink. They turn out really pretty. But and it's seriously not hard. Like I could still turn it into a bluish one just by adding these colors. <laughs> So yeah, you're just going to pretty much do this the whole time. The best thing about these is that they all look so unique and different because you can never do the exact same thing twice. It just turns out, I don't know, just random. All you're doing is literally dipping your brush in the paint, adding water, swirling things around. that until the whole thing is filled. I think I'm actually going to add some blue just because I already have a pink galaxy.
it's the exact same technique so it's not like it's going to matter you guys will still learn how to do it the exact same way You just have to keep it very wet because that's how the colors bleed. When I first started painting these, I kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't put enough water or I would just take too long to find the right color. I would just overthink it, I guess, and by the time I would get to it, it would be pretty dry and then it wouldn't bleed in really nice because it was dry and then it wouldn't it would have like harsh lines which I hate that's something I cannot deal with is when I'm painting and I see the harsh lines if I can't see if I can see exactly like where it's going from one color, one color to the other I just I really don't like it so these ones like I said are pretty easy because you don't really have to do anything crazy. You're just adding a bunch of colors and keeping the painting pretty wet. And this right here is just a round cut canvas, which is weird because it's not really like a canvas. It's really thin, but but it's thick, thick enough where it like holds a ton of water like this thing is really wet and it's not like curling up or anything but yeah i just found it online it's not too expensive and they're super fun to paint these on or sometimes what i'll do is i i will just draw a circle on my normal white cold pressed paper and do this but like I said this one's the best because it holds a ton of water so then you can really make it look like a crazy galaxy so once you're done what you do is I always add in the stars it's like the finished touch that I put so that it looks I don't know real I guess and there's two ways you can do it so if you want it to look like teeny little specks of stars and to make it look like the, sh the stars are just super teeny and bright you have to wait till this is completely dry and then start flicking the white paint but this one looks more like they're glowing and they're just they're not too pigmented I guess I don't really know how to explain it but I'll show you the ways to do it so this one I I'll, I'll just show you so I can't talk you just add in finer final deets see look right here because it's more dry instead of blending it in you can see like that that drives me nuts I hate when it doesn't blend I think it looks so ugly See, instead of blending it, you can see the line, but whatever, it's no big deal. The key is just keeping it super wet. If you keep it really wet, then you will get a really nice blend in. So I think I'm going to wait until it's a little more dry so I can do other details. Okay, so that's been drying for a little bit. So I'm going to show the difference. This one, I did the stars when it was completely dry. And the stars are super, like, there you don't see any white paint bleeding into the color. 
but this one you do because I did it while it was wet. So I'm going to show you. You just get a teeny bit of, this is like, I don't know how the heck you pronounce these, but they're like goach or something, white. And, or you can use white acrylic and add water. Sometimes I do that because these are so little and you can buy like a huge tube of white acrylic for like almost the same price and you just add water and you seriously have white paint for the rest of your life and you will never need to restock. Um, so I like to do that sometimes. So I'm going to change my water because this is super dirty and I need it to be pretty white. Well, actually I'm going to do something really fast. giving it some dimension right now as you can see I'm being so freaking messy but that's the best part you don't have to be all careful and because there's no such thing as wrong you're creating your own galaxy there are no rules as cheesy as that sounds Okay, I'm gonna change my water now. Okay, so now that I changed my water, I'm going to just go like this. And do this. So you see that? It looks super cool when it's really wet and you start adding water. And you can also do both, meaning you can add some white paint when it's wet and then add a little bit more when it's dry. So you just keep tapping it. So this is all I, all I did for this one, but I think I'm going to wait until it dries a little more and then add more white when it's dry so that it can be more pigmented. You can also add other. So I just dipped this in purple. The brush has to be pretty wet or else when you do this flicking it won't really work so it gets pretty messy now I have paint all over my table but the good thing about watercolor is you can just wash it right off so that's pretty much it so, <laughs> I don't know how to end this video but I hope you like it